Hello, Mark Officer here from Science in Motion Sports. I'd just like to demonstrate how uh, when you're doing a, a, a sand putt lab analysis, I think it's a good idea if you can find yourself a straight putt of around about 10 feet, and then you can uh, look at that data and be pretty sure that, that everything uh, makes sense. So we need to find a straight putt, so the best thing you can do is set up on a string line and hit a few putts underneath the string line ensuring that that ball is actually rolling straight. Once you've hit a few putts under the string line and you know the ball's rolling straight, we can then remove the string line and we can then do our assessment. So here I can see that each of these putts that I'm hitting are pretty much starting under the line. So here I can see that each of these putts that I'm hitting are pretty much starting under the line and they're staying under that line all the way. So this putt is... Prior to doing any testing of any student, I also like to uh, do some testing on in training mode to see how I've set up the triplet on the... We're very fortunate in this facility to be able to simulate break right to left or left to right or uphill, downhill by uh, using our electronic system here so I can create a little bit of right. Now using a string line and a fake cut we can determine the estimated alignment point, hit a few putts, hopefully if the ball is going in when we're aiming at that point. We can then use that as our calibration for uh, correct alignment and address. We then use the laser to calibrate to that point one and a half cups to the right. So here I've got the base unit also parallel to the intended target line. Just using my laser to ensure We've got the correct calibration point, so now I'm going to hit five parts to that uh, phantom cup out to the right, and then we're probably going to see tendencies in the stroke. Everybody still wants to hold it in the real, the real cup. Very often you're going to see changes in ball position, changes in alignments, changes in face control. So we want to try and keep this stroke as similar as we can in straight putts, right to left and left to right. And here we can see that uh, my tendency is actually pretty much similar with a straight putt and a right to left. I tend to aim a little bit to the right. Putter face is pretty good at, at impact, stroke path. Pretty much what I normally do, 1.6 degrees to the right. Rotation similar. Basic path, usually a little bit closed and a little bit closed here, 1.5 closed. So we're seeing blue throughout the stroke here and the dynamics and the timing basically the same it's a breaking putt as they are in a normal putt 
So we want to see the same sort of scores in um, a putt that is straight and also a putt that's breaking. Yes. So here we're doing a test where, first of all, yeah. we're trying to determine how much left to right break there is. So we've got the fake cup at one cup left of the hole, string line in position, that started a little bit left, went into the left edge. So now I'm putting towards that fake cup, one cup left. Hopefully my stroke mechanics are still the same as when I was doing straight putt and when I was doing a left, uh, right to left putt. Here we can see I'm aiming a little bit right at address, one degree right, maybe a little bit more than uh, I was for the right to left. Consistency is good. Impact, 0.8 open, stroke path a little bit to the right. Mechanics as far as uh, club head rotation, pretty similar. Still a little bit closed in relation to the path. Okay, and then you can check the profile. Okay, pretty similar. The consistency is still high and the technique score 89% is good. So overall rating also good at 89. So that's the situation we want. Keep that uh, stroke patterns the same whether or not it's left to right, right to left or a straight putt.